Now, of course, there is something that we have learned recently that apparently I, I was married two days ago and the show has decided that this shall be the, the advice from a female who has just been married. Married show. I don't understand what's going on, but it's okay. We shall talk about it. And today we are speaking very candidly about shifting blame and how to become a bigger person in a marriage, in a relationship, because it will make you happier. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I feel like sometimes being a bigger person can be such a task because it does get to you sometimes. You really are breaking your back just to be able to become the bigger person. But like at some point, I e ume basana. You mm. like I know we need to like let some of this go. So you start to I don't know project and start to try and defend yourself. But in all honesty, it does feel safer and more peaceful. And even just like it's just more like ah, it's all good. We are trying to be the bigger person as long as you're not counting scores. Mm -hmm. So have you been in a situation where you had to have been the bigger person and how was that to you? Yes, countless times, especially more because I I do not like confrontation mm. and I stay away from confrontation as much as possible. Mm -hmm. But you know, sometimes you just do not want to be caught up in the foolishness that is people because sometimes people... People can be people. And you find yourself always in cycles. We're always arguing about something. It's always back and forth about something. So me, I don't want to be in this energy anymore. So I'm going to excuse myself. That is also being the bigger person. Mm -hmm. Because instead of just in that casaco, you're always being petty. You're always doing something. It's always who has the best comeback. Just excuse yourself. Become the bigger person and excuse yourself from that negativity. Mm, so what you're saying is sometimes you don't always want to be the winner. Mm -hmm. Because being a winner isn't always, True. you're not winning. Simply because you want to fight doesn't mean you won in that relationship. Oh, that's a really interesting one. Mm -hmm. Another one is always choosing to step forward into growth over stagnation. Because True. a lot of us tend to... I'll be in a space in life where you start to like fester in the same space. You're festering in the same energy. Mm. You're festering in the same mood because the other person is in that same mood. And I think yesterday we spoke about someone who told us that <clears throat> she and her, uh, her husband have been in a situation where it's like, they're not talking it's like silent treatment through and through and honestly it does start to become very foul really quickly because i you like where can we won't get out of this situation mm -hmm. we're now stuck in a rut how are we gonna get ourselves out of it and honestly the only way for you to be able to get yourself out of a loop out of a bad situation out of a bad like small stagnant space mm -hmm. is to just choose to be the bigger person you're like hey simply because you're gonna act like a child doesn't mean i'm going to act like a child i'm going to act like an adult mm -hmm. and i I will do something that I was, for instance, you were supposed to, the cooking and cleaning, cooking and cleaning in this household, in households generally, people become so petty about me, I cooked, I, I made, I, I cooked, therefore you need to do the dishes, therefore you need to take out the trash. And then it just becomes, you're all, you're just in dirt, yeah, what are we doing? So why not just wake up one day, pick up the trash? do the dishes and keep it moving because mm -hmm. at the end of the day isn't it your house is it not true so true, that's true. i think one of those things try and get out of stagnation and grow because you have become the bigger person it's mm. a big solution and also allow yourself to be more flexible because <clears throat> i think i also saw this thing by trevor noah where he said when you wake up in the morning always know that <coughs> things will not go your way. Things True. are not bound to go your way. Yep. So if you walk into your office, just keep in mind that somebody might disappoint me. It's True. not going to be a perfect day. Mm -hmm. If um, I'm meeting somebody, let's say for lunch at 1 a.m., as you're going to this lunch, keep in mind that this person may not show up on time. Mm -hmm. So always have that, okay, I can be flexible. I can be doing something else. I can change my plans. I can accommodate other people when they're, you know, running late or they can't, you know, meet the standard that's required. Just be flexible because if you're always rigid, it's my way or the highway. You'll always be a bitter person because everyone is disappointing you. You're always angry. You're always trying to fight somebody. You're always just a bitter person to be around simply because you just can't be flexible and accommodate other people and other spaces. Yeah, and I think fl the flexibility and oh, just accepting that people aren't learning to accept that people, even the ones closest to you, will always, won't always
always do things that will please you. True. That, um, I think Tria has summed it up in the best way possible. But we add other things, for example, being a little bit more lenient and forgiving. Mm. Accepting the fact that, yeah, the plans have changed. Okay, so what now? You know, they got late. Okay, then what? True. That flexibility and that acceptance that people are human and therefore they will need, they will make mistakes and there will be very little that you can do about it. Mm -hmm. But you then have to take it in and keep it moving, you know, forgiving, leniency, being a bit more um, accepting of things, especially being forgiving, True. understanding that being a bigger person doesn't make you a loser mm -hmm. because people assume that simply because it, it makes you look like people are walking all over you that's not really the case people aren't walking all over you people don't disrespect you simply because they got their late it could be a thing of they just had um circumstances that were outside of their of their of their willpower or their capacity and therefore they had to find a way around it you know it, it just is life not everything is about you mm. don't be selfish about it and think that everything is about you every trigger is supposed to be sent to you every no just mm, let it go just like usa usa Usa. Be like Elsa. Yeah. Let it go. Let it it's go. It's frozen over here. Yeah. <laughs> it just let it go. Let it just swim off your back. Yeah. Yeah. Like, a, you know, have you ever seen water being poured on a duck's back? Mm. It just flows. Mm. So let it be like water on a back, the back of a duck. Let it And flow. also, we are getting into the festive season. So what? this what? means for most people, you'll get to see your longtime relatives. Ah, all your family will gather around for Christmas, as we all do. So also, don't be the petty person mm -mm. this year. Mm -mm. This year, rise above the foolishness. Your auntie starts making remarks. Don't be quick to clap back. Yeah. You know, don't be quick to always. Okay, you said this. Just, Usa, mm -hmm. excuse yourself because I realize sometimes people will just agitate you to have a reaction yeah, out of you. Yeah, just a trigger. Yeah, mm -hmm. so just say, oh, I'm fat. Okay, cool. I'm eating well. You know, mm -hmm. you can see my place. Mm -hmm. You know, just rise above all the foolishness. Yeah, and f forget old grudges. Mm. Like. Just leave it. It's in the past. True. I know it's painful and it's very difficult to forget, but the more you have a resentment for anyone, the more you take up space in your heart and in your mind that mm. should have been carried on by something else. True. So just let it, as we said, like a duck's back, let it flow. Mm -hmm. It's gone. True. Mm? It's gone. <laughs> Happy festive season, happy new month. My name is Kathomi Kathomi. My name is Turi Faye. Have a lovely weekend. Have a drunk December. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. I'm staying clean and late. <laughs> <laughs>